serious. So Scott freaking has this soda pop addiction. Sure, I've known him for a while and all, and I know people like soda pop, but I swear, this guy picks up a couple two liters every single time we stop somewhere. So as I was saying, like seriously guys, just come look with me. Look what we have going on in this freaking car. Like this is, I've been traveling with him for a couple days, but like, again, I know people like to drink soda pop, but seriously, Scott, like, just look at this. Just look at all these freaking bottles. How does somebody go through all of these bottles in, in just a couple days? I just don't understand it. I, I, I'm starting to think maybe this guy has a problem or something. Like, I just don't know what, how somebody can drink so much soda pop. Yeah, sure. I like a good soda pop or two once in a while, you know? But ever since I've been with Joel, I swear to God, I keep buying these soda pops and they keep disappearing. I don't know what his problem is. He keeps chugging my pop and blaming it on me. He thinks it's like, I don't know, I've got a problem, but I don't, it's him. I, I really think this guy should get help, you know? Every time I turn around, I mean, he's chugging pop, and it's ridiculous. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here and today we're in Spruce Grove, Alberta, which is just like 20 minutes outside of Edmonton and today we are at a place called The Beer Hunter. Here we are with the challenges. So this is the even bigger Game Hunter challenge. So essentially they had the old Game Hunter. This wasn't, it wasn't big enough so they made this one. This one's only been defeated once before. Again, we're gonna try for this. We're gonna have 30 minutes. We get a free t-shirt if we complete it. Worst case, it's 31 bucks. Looks good, fries look well seasoned. Two and a half pounds of prime rib beef, all Alberta beef. We got bacon, all the toppings, little onion ring on top, and it's served with an arrow, which is pretty cool. You know, the big game hunter. So yeah, it looks really good. Scott, ready, ready to eat some burger? Absolutely, always hungry. Excellent. Now there's also a little mini burger on top too, it's kind of cool. It's gonna be a little funny playing with these shadows here, but I'll make sure to lean forward, and uh, we're gonna start here just momentarily. Everyone, so let's get started. Do you have a timer? I got the timer. All right, we'll say it. Count five, four, three. Oh, is there a record, do you know? I'm not sure I'll ask though. Okay, okay. two, okay. one, let's eat. Have fun, Scott. You too, good luck. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Beer Hunter in Spruce Grove, Alberta. So here to do their even bigger Beer Hunter challenge. So as I mentioned, this is kind of the upgraded challenge. I don't know what the original one was, but even their bigger version, it was really not that big, let's be honest. However, that being said, this is a really good sized challenge because this is a perfect leeway, a perfect challenge for individuals who might be interested in doing food challenges or just want to give it a try to try because the stakes are not that high and it is very doable for, well, I would say someone who's a big eater. Note, still you gotta be a big eater, but a big eater. Well, shadow's messed up, but burger's good. I would estimate this challenge is somewhere about three and a half pounds. Um, so I mean, the burger probably ish three, and then the fries about a pound or half a pound, three quarters pound, whatever it may be. So again, like I said, a really good kind of introductory size challenge. And which is nice, even though it's only been defeated once before. The restaurant was really cool, like had a really cool theme. All on the inside they had different like dirt bikes and stuffed bears and they were really going for a very much kind of an outdoorsy wildlife aspect to this restaurant and then I mean with a name like Beer Hunter, you know, after the kind of whole idea of Deer Hunter which is a famous kind of arcade game. Um, you know, they really encapsulated kind of that, I'll call it an outdoor slash pub experience. Um, so it was, it was a very unique spot. And there was this really nice patio, obviously, which we decided to eat outside on. And it just kind of all seemed very, very suiting to eat this beer hunter or deer hunter burger in the great outdoors. So with that, everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Huge thanks to all the staff here. Huge thanks to Alberta and Alberta Beef. 
and let's see if we can finish up this challenge and let's see what happens. About four minutes, maybe three or four seconds. It was good, it was tasty. Scott's just finishing up here, down with fries. Absolutely killing it. So that was the even bigger Game Hunter Challenge. Whew. A little rough on the mouth though. God, Joel. Crispy. Thank you. Excuse me. Whew. We don't know if there's an official record, but the lady said that was probably a record if there was one. I guess this person's only been completed once anyway, so. I think she said definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, so when we first sat down, the lighting was perfect, but the way the shade's moving, or the sun's moving, and shade with the patio fixture. Yeah, that was some Alberta beef. The fries are tasty. I like the, mm -hmm. the fries are tasty. Nice little season out. Yeah, that's nice. Five fifty-five for the gentleman Scott. Bye. Bye. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This challenge, definitely a nice one. Pretty quick one, in fact. Uh, but yeah, there's the even bigger Game Hunter Challenge here at Beer Hunter in Spruce Grove, Alberta. So it's pretty cool. Thanks for the staff for having us out. Really great stuff. Beautiful day out. Couldn't resist sitting out in the sun. And of course, have some good food as well. So Scott, what'd you think of it? Yeah, it was actually really tasty. The, I got to enjoy it a little bit more than Joel did. So I got to enjoy those flavors uh -huh. eating the burger and the fries. Uh, but yeah, it was it was really good. I've never had uh, any sort of food served with an arrow through it, so that was unique as well. But everybody, of course, till next time, stay happy, I'll be hungry, happy eating, don't do what we do, and we'll be seeing you again shortly. Oh, and yeah, I guess we had a sweet t-shirt for, for eating as well.
Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, my good friend Mr. Scott Eats. So uh, we tried to do a uh, black cherry chug a second ago, and uh, or you saw previously, and it, it was an absolute fail. <laughs> um, I can't seem to wrap my mouth around the two glass bottles, so I'm just gonna do it one by one, but here we have some Diet Dad's Old Fashioned Root Beer. So the last time I had this was probably when I lived in Alberta, um, probably like 15, 16 years ago. I remember having these as a kid. They're really good. It's kind of like a very uh, old-fashioned creamy style root beer. We got the diet versions because I don't support drinking uh, calorie filled beverages. Um, so with that, so I'm just gonna, again, I'm just gonna do one by one, but we'll crack these open. And then my greasy hands from the burgers. Yeah. I think it's the one you tried to open. Yeah. Scott, Scott was like, cracked when I was like, wait for the video. <laughs> oh, look at that. It smells like root beer. Right. Believe it or not, I'm gonna give it, give it a taste. Tastes like root beer, hey? Tastes like root beer, yeah. Yeah, how nice. Any, anybody who walks by is gonna be like, he's gonna drink a beer. <laughs> anyway, all right, so. Uh, but that's kind of usual for Alberta anyways. Yeah. <laughs> 24 ounces. Root beer chug. Cheers. Cheers. I'm just gonna do one by one. Okay. Can you, can you, can you, I'll did, try it. Did you do the double? Uh -huh. How'd you I'll do try. it? Like that? There you go. I just I think I just need to learn how to do this double stuff. I'm just gonna do it one by one. Tasty. Again, extra video. So that everybody. Peace.